Howdy viewers, Bobby Brown here, Guns and Drums, and before I return the Nano to its rightful owner, I thought I would do a high def breakdown. Now we got to shoot the gun already on video, and I'm sure, uh, I hope a lot of you have seen it, seen that video, and you can see that it shoots pretty daggone good. Now for a high def look, uh, I really like the way the edges of the gun are beveled here. And uh, like I said, Beretta did a really good job of keeping the sides of the weapon smooth, uh, very concealable, very, very nice handgun. Uh, as far as breakdown goes now, I like the fact that you don't need any tools other than a penny to break this down. Now, it says right here on the side, warning. Retract slide to see if loaded, if loaded, fires without magazine, and do not pull trigger for disassembly. Cool. Fires without magazine. It's nice to know. I think I said that in one of my earlier videos. Now they just write it on the side so you'll know, right? Uh, but this part about um, do not pull trigger for disassembly. Um... That's a little bit weird, because I'm just wondering if dry firing the weapon is okay. But anyway, the decocker is easy enough on this little boy, this little bad boy. You're going to push that right there with a sharp object, and you'll hear it decock, if it were cocked. It is not cocked. Let's clear the chamber. It's cocked now. Let's decock it. Did you hear that? I guess it's just like a decocker lever, but rather than putting a big lever here that would hang up on your pants, they just made it nice and simple. Now, the cool thing, take a penny, turn it this way, and pull it apart. Voila. It's that easy. So don't dry fire it. Make sure that you use a sharp object or a pin or something to decock it right there with that little decocker. Um, one neat thing about the Nano is it's not really a polymer frame. Well, it is a polymer frame, but it has a steel insert. So the slide rails actually ride on steel. So that's kind of cool. I like that feature. Um, I'm going, to, I'm going to return it nice and clean to its rightful owner, of course. Um, one downfall that I found with the thing is this plastic guide rod. I'm not really sure, you know, why, why they couldn't make a steel guide rod. But when you're reassembling this bad boy, I noticed that that plastic guide rod will actually flex a little bit. So you want to be really careful. And when you put it in here, you need to notice that it is bending a little bit. I mean, it is flexing a little bit because it's not steel. So I noticed when I put put the little nano back together, once you get it started on the slide here, if you just kind of straighten out that guide rod, it'll go, it'll go right back together. Or at least it should. There we go. The other cool thing about it is once you slide the rack back, the uh, breakdown screw, if you will, it goes back to its rightful position. So once you put the slide back on and you rack it back one time, there's no need to take your penny and return the screw uh, because it sets itself. So once again, real quickly, you're going to break this thing down. you got to decock it. Shh, Mr. Crow, give me a break here. I'm trying to make a high-def video. Decock. You heard that? Screw halfway with a penny, comes right off, everything is bing, bang, boom. Hope you enjoyed this high def breakdown of the Nano. Thanks for watching, Bobby Brown here, Guns and Drums. Make sure you keep it pointed in a safe direction.